Hey everybody, hey resellers out there in YouTube land. My name is Jeff, my name is Fro, my name is Hey Fro. You can call me any one of those, I will answer. I'm gonna call today a massive success. Now let me define what a success is. 10 sales, 275 a day is kind of what I want to strive for. That's 100,000 a year. I had nine sales today, about 350, give or take. Um, summer slowdown, you know, to get that number uh, on in, in June, uh, I'm gonna say that's a massive win. Uh, I'm also, I want to talk about why you should be listening to this channel. Uh, I've been doing this for almost 12 years now, almost nine years full time, and you're gonna learn something. Uh, it's not maybe, you know, my videos are not edited, they're not, you know, maybe as entertaining as other YouTubers, but you're gonna learn something. Um, you're gonna learn, you're out there sourcing, and you're gonna pick up information from me about things that I buy, things that I sell, the psychology behind why I buy and sell some of the things that I do. And if you're out there sourcing, you are right now, right now you're missing items. I'm missing items, 100%, there's no doubt. We can never learn enough about what we do to go to a sale, go to a thrift store, and get everything that there is to get. There's always stuff left behind. And if you had a YouTube channel right now, yeah, you, if you had a YouTube channel right now, you would have information to offer people as well. So with that being said, let's talk about what sold today. Uh, I'm gonna start with something that I've already gotten in the mail, already shipped out today. So I'm just gonna show you uh, this was an interesting item because I got full price on it. It was one of those books, France Barden, The Key to the True Kabbalah, sold for 125, actually 126. Um, and what's interesting about this is I had sent a number of offers, and I had sent and, and I had offers on this, and I had sent some counters as well for lower than that. And somebody just came along in the middle of the night, decided they had to have this book. And then after I pulled it, looked at the listing, I realized I even had it spelled wrong. I mean, this is like a rookie mistake. I had the key to the true Kablala. Who knows? It could have sold weeks ago or a month ago or maybe even, I mean, I wouldn't have listed for any higher. But anyhow, awesome sale got that from the esoteric book lot that I the estate sale from like what, four weeks and four weeks ago now where I highlighted everything that I got from there still still have so many books I haven't even gotten listed on on there okay um a couple Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books sold to Canada um 30 bucks uh this the guy made an offer for 25 or 24 I think they were listed for 34, so I'm like, I countered, yes, I know. Right now, that is like the word we should not say, counter, I countered. Mm -hmm. And he didn't respond right away, but I knew, I knew that he would not find a better deal uh, because these books are extremely high grade. I graded them a 96.8, which is, which is within a window, which is extremely high and I'm, pretty quite quite confident in my grading. Another book that sold, Going to Chile, from that esoteric book lot, Osiris, The Egyptian Religion of Resurrection. This and, oh man, where is it? Okay, whew. It's a cool old photograph of Cairo in 1974 that whoever, well, the people that have owned these books before must have went to Cairo, which is pretty cool, I think. So those that sold for thirty-two dollars. All right, 
I had a couple offline sales today. Um, the first one was a, and, and I spoke about this, I thought this had sold maybe about a week ago, but the guy ended up uh, basically ghosting me. So the, the Cirque de Soleil umbrella sold today for full price of 25 locally, um, which I didn't pay anything for. As I said, I uh, was helping somebody move. They had some stuff that they, they were gonna donate. Uh, I offered to take it to donation and you know, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna at least look through the stuff that I'm donating and see if there's anything I, I think is worth selling. And I, this umbrella was pretty cool. Um, and I also sold an inspector gadget. Uh, it was probably like that big statue, not statue, toy. Honestly, I have no idea where I got that. Must have been in a lot that I picked up somewhere. I sold that for $15. It was, you know, um, the guy who bought it, he was so excited. And, and, and I think when when you you get a customer that is so appreciative of the item that that they're getting it kind of reminds you of why we do at least why i do what i do is because that joy in getting that item to a specific customer to me that's priceless i, I love that so um it, it's it's interesting how different people value items uh, I had a guy that wanted to buy this like about a month ago and I had it listed for 10 and I was actually going to deliver it to him because it was kind of on a route that I go every day and he, you know, he hemmed and hawed and then he was like agreed to it and then like the day that I was going to bring it, he was like, you know what, he's like, can you do five? And I'm just like, you know, if I'm bringing you something, normally I'm actually going to charge a fee. I'm like, no. And then he just didn't hear from him so then I raised the price to 15 and met this really cool guy today who's who's probably you know I sent him my eBay stores he's gonna go through and uh, yeah who knows if he's gonna buy anything else but you know if anything it's cool contact uh, really nice guy and uh, you know I list stuff every day so who knows what else this guy's gonna buy all right um, this was a bit of a disappointing sale Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast, Vampire Hunter, Eddie. Now, I have been an Iron Maiden fan for 35 plus years. And I know they have a crazy solid fan base. And I really thought this was going to sell. I might even have another one of these somewhere, but this only sold for $15. Um, it was one of those deals where I think I had a list of like 24 was on sale. Somebody made an offer. I looked at the other items that were out there. My shipping was a little higher. Uh, someone had one out there for a little cheaper or maybe around the same price, but maybe their shipping was a little bit cheaper. And it was basically one of those things where I'm just like, you know what, this has been in my store forever. It was, in my opinion, a bad buy. I probably broke even on this, but sometimes you have to break even just to get stuff out the door you know that way you get that money back you can use it to buy something else uh, maybe you can upsell him and give him to buy something else uh, maybe he gets it and he's really happy and then he comes back and he buys something else so it's all about creating that flow and that um, i know for me when i'm having a really good sales day sometimes i want to keep it going uh, and yeah, I mean, sometimes it's like, I'll, sometimes I'll be more picky. Once I hit my goal, I'll counter offers. But then other times, like I said, sometimes you just want to keep it going and see how how high you can get that sales day. Uh, and that was the case with this. So not every sale is the same. We, and we all have, we all rationalize why we accept offers, why we decline offers, and why we counter. But you should never decline you should always counter for at least, like if somebody lowballs you and it's like in, in a disgusting lowball, I always just counter at the price that it's at because that activity of counter, offer, counter, that helps the algorithm. Um, sold this Yves Saint Laurent perfume for 62, brand new, sealed. 
uh, yeah, nothing really much to say about that. And um, yeah, at I think the last sale, uh, unless I'm missing, oh yeah, I am, I am missing something. Um, this sold overnight, uh, this has already shipped today. Um, it's basically just a comic. It's signed, it's a pretty cool doll face comic by Colette Turner. Uh, this sold for about $23. Uh, really nothing to say, just a just a solid, beautiful cover. Yeah. So Colette Turner does really nice covers. And she's really super cool. I met her at a, at a fan expo here a couple years ago, pre-COVID. Uh, and then I believe this is the last sale of the day. Um, an Emily Strange zippered pouch. Strange is not a crime. This sold for 22 So let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. But yeah, I mean, an extremely solid day. Like... Two days ago, sale I say I crushed my sales uh, goal. Then yesterday it was a little iffy. Today, you know, we got an international order. We got nine sales, uh, five on I think five on on the one eBay store, two on the other, and then two offline sales. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to kind of make this video, get these. Uh, I want to start packaging these tonight. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.